It's Teacher Will, and I am back with another Insight video. For those of you that don't know what Insight means, it's a deeper appreciation of something or someone. And when I asked our next guest to be involved, they said yes, and I was extremely happy. With that being said, Teacher, let them know your name and where are you from? Hey everyone, hey Teacher Will, thanks for having me here. I am ready to answer all of your questions. First of all, my name is Shireen. I'm an English teacher and I'm from the United States. I'm from Minnesota, which is in the Midwest. So teacher Shireen, I have a lot of questions for you. A couple personal questions, not too personal. So are you ready? Here we go. What is your favorite color? What's my favorite color? It's a tricky question because I love colorful things, but I do have a favorite color. My favorite color is green. I love green because it comes in so many different shades and I feel like each shade has a completely different mood. So if you go for like a dark green, um, it feels very natural. And then you can go for like a lime green, which is bright and crazy. If you had a superpower, what would that superpower be? If I could have any superpower, I would fly. I would fly so that I could travel anywhere I wanted to on my own and be able to see the world from that view. That would be amazing. I would probably also use that superpower for good although I would need a little more time to brainstorm exactly how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> what is the biggest misconception about you? I don't know. Okay, Teacher Shireen, why did you become a teacher? There are many reasons that I'm an English teacher, so I'll just share a few of them with you. One of them is that I love English and I love language. Like I love English as a language and I love all languages. I'm fascinated by them. Another reason is I like to work with students because I learn from them. I don't know if students realize this, if learners realize that your teacher learns so much from you. I love to learn, which is why I love to teach. And a third reason why I love teaching is I love to help people feel empowered and confident. Teacher Shireen, please help me. I need your help. How can I improve my speaking? When learners ask me how to improve their speaking, I always explain to them that speaking is just like, let's say, running. If you ask me how can I improve um, my running skills, I think that the first thing most people would tell me is to start running, you know, start running slowly and then you'll get faster and faster. Speaking is the same. If you want to improve your speaking, you have to start speaking. You need to make speaking a part of your everyday. So how you make that a possibility is up to you. You could record yourself, um, there's the internet, so you can find people to chat with if you want to. There are many ways that you can practice speaking. You could also just speak to yourself out loud. But the main point is, if you want to improve your speaking, you gotta start speaking right now. How about remembering vocabulary words? There's a simple formula for remembering vocab repetition and using the vocab. So when you learn a new word, if you want to remember it, you need to look at it many times. You need to use it many times. That is how you store it in your long-term memory. So you could do that by, let's say, every morning spending 10 minutes reviewing vocabulary writing your own sentences with the vocabulary and making an actual effort to use that new vocabulary in your speaking and your writing. That's how you remember vocabulary. You use it. 
Teacher Shireen, how can I overcome my shyness? I want to learn, but I'm shy. I know that being shy is a real challenge. If you're too shy to put yourself out there and take risks, that can be really discouraging. But this is the thing. The more risks you take, the more confident you will feel. So even if it's just like a small risk, after you take that risk, you will feel encouraged to take a bigger risk. So let's say you start recording yourself. So you record some videos of yourself speaking English. You don't show them to anybody, just for yourself. And, and you watch yourself and you watch those videos and you keep doing it. You will notice your own improvements when you do that. And then maybe after some time, you'll have some courage to join a Facebook group and post one of your videos. Or you'll have the courage to actually get out there and start speaking because you'll have seen yourself do it. So the key to overcoming your shyness is to just take small risks. You don't need to get up and give a speech to an audience. Just do it on your own at first and then start speaking to somebody. Grammar. In your opinion, what's the best way to learn grammar? If you're watching this video and you understand me and you understand teacher Will well, I'm guessing you've already learned grammar in school or in your English course. Now, you do not need to know the names of grammatical concepts, okay? But you do need to know some grammatical rules in order to build sentences that make sense. So at this point in your English learning journey, if you've already learned grammar, here's what you need to do. You need to pinpoint the grammar that you find difficult or you find challenging. You find the grammar that is making you get stuck and then you go back and you re-study that grammatical concept, okay? So there's no need to go get a grammar textbook and, or a grammar workbook and work through that. You're already beyond that point, okay? You just need to figure out what it is that makes you get stuck. If you are like, every single time I need to use the first conditional, I get stuck, then go back and study the first conditional. That was just an example for you. What are your two to three favorite idioms? One of my favorite idioms is to burst someone's bubble. If you burst someone's bubble, that means that you destroy their illusion of something. So if they believe something and you tell them that is going to ruin that belief or destroy that belief, you burst their bubble. So I'll give you an example. I hate to burst your bubble, but you can't become fluent in a language in 30 days. I hate to burst your bubble, but if you don't speak English, you won't become fluent. So that means if you believed that you could become fluent in 30 days, or you believed that you could become fluent without speaking, I've just told you it's not true, so I've burst your bubble. Another phrase for you is, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. It doesn't sound like an expression, but we use this when we've just said something and we want to correct ourselves. We realize that what we've said was not right, so we want to correct ourselves. It doesn't mean that we are actually lying. Okay, let me give you an example. If I say, Pronunciation is not important at all. I could then say, I tell a lie. Actually, if your pronunciation isn't clear, then people won't be able to understand you. How about some of your favorite English words? My favorite word in English. Now, I really had to think about this one. And I'm going to say pineapple. <laughs> And I'm choosing this word because I know that in many other languages, many other languages, pineapple is some variation of ananas. And in English, it's a 
pine apple. It doesn't make any sense. It's weird. I like it. Is watching movies a good way to learn English? And if so, what's the best way or the proper way in watching a movie? How can it help me learn English? I think watching movies is a fantastic way to take your English to the next level. I'm going to tell you a secret. I have noticed that learners who watch movies or watch TV series or listen to English music actually have an easier time reaching fluency. So I think that it is definitely a very useful way to advance in English. I think it's important that you choose something that you can understand 70% of. So if you choose a movie or you choose a TV series, you should be able to understand 70% of what you're watching. There is no shame in using subtitles. One thing that you could do though is watch it with subtitles and then watch it again without subtitles. Or you could watch something that you've already watched in your native language so you'll have a bit of an idea about the storyline, you kind of know what to expect, but this time you're watching it in English. What's a video that you've always wanted to make, but you haven't had a chance to make it yet? There is a video that I've been contemplating for a long time, and it's specifically because someone on Instagram asked me to make it. He asked me to make a video outdoors. And I've had so many ideas of what I could teach outdoors, but I just haven't gone through with it. So that's on the list of video outdoors, maybe with outdoor vocabulary. What does the word insight mean to you? What does the word insight mean to me? Well, it's kind of an interesting word. If you break it into two, you've got in sight when something is in sight. So when you have insight into something, that means that you have a good look inside of something. You can really see deeper into it. So what Will has done here with his videos is given us insight into the thoughts of many different teachers. How would you describe Teacher Will? Teacher Will. What do I think of Teacher Will? I think that all the learners and teachers watching would agree. Teacher Will is wise. Teacher Will is caring. And Teacher Will is somebody that you want to listen to. He's got great advice and he's open-minded and also, he's patient. Don't you think Teacher Will is patient? I think he's so patient. <laughs> For those future teachers looking to go on social media, Instagram, YouTube, other social media applications, do you have any advice for them? Advice for teachers who want to get on Instagram. The first advice I think of is be yourself and be authentic, okay? There's plenty of content online for people to learn from, but people want to learn from you. So be yourself, be authentic, don't be shy, show everyone a little bit of your character. Every single teacher has something special to offer, so show the students what's special about you. All right, Teacher Shireen. Thank you so much for participating in Insight. Any final thoughts or questions with respect to one's life and or English, the floor is yours. Thank you so much for inviting me to do one of your Insight videos, Teacher Will. I have enjoyed this so much. If I were to say anything to the learners and to the teachers watching, please don't give up. Keep going. It's worth it. Bye, everyone.